Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. On the last episode, we uh, went to the old schoolhouse, hmm. but I don't remember anything else before that. As I said on the Batman episode that I recorded earlier, I uh, haven't really been feeling well, so I haven't really been recording or anything. And everything that I've uploaded so far before they just stopped was um, stuff that I did prior to having this uh, cold and stuff. So I'm finally in a good enough position where I can record again. So we'll be continuing where we left off. Which is great because I've been very anxious to record. Because I've been very anxious to play. The suns begin to set. Begun to set. <sighs> we were we were in there for ages. We should probably go give our report to the principal. Would you mind coming with me? Not at all. Well, let's go. Hmm, well, this is certainly unexpected. So, the layout has changed completely since last month. I knew something was amiss there, but I had no idea it progressed to such an extent. Um, do you know anything about the origin of those ruins? They look like they predated the school by, well, a lot. I'm afraid we can't be certain who constructed them, nor exactly how long they've been around. But you are correct, they existed for several hundred years before this academy was founded. All signs point to the construction occurring sometime during the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages? You mean, the chaotic period that began after the Great Collapse? 1,200 years ago? Most of the ruined archaeologists have uncovered from the period our from that period are full of strange things. Some of which seem to have been made with technology we didn't even fully understand. We're talking magic and alchemy. But the inside of a building completely changed its layout. I have to say, that's a new one, definitely not normal. Indeed, no such record of such a phenomenon exists in the alchemy records. I <laughs> Academy. We will have a bona fide mystery on our hands, it would seem. Well, I'll try to have a look around the place myself when I get the chance. I've been curious about it ever since I started working here. I'd greatly appreciate that. Swarger, Craig, Warzel, thank you very much for all of your hard work. It was no trouble at all. I'm happy to be in the resistance. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to help. If you'll please excuse us, then. Heh. <laughs> Three of you did pretty well. And it seems you're getting the hang of using your archers, too. Combat links definitely did make our battles in the ruins a lot easier. They could prove a powerful asset if we're able to master them. Hard to get the timing right, though. Well, just keep at it. You'll need to be performing links with your other classmates eventually, too, after all. And let me re uh, alliterate. Once again, you've all done very well today. Especially you, Reed. I'll be expecting great things from you next time, too. I'll do my thing. Wait. Wait a second. What do you mean, next time? Well, the way I see it is, you're natural at this. Oh, so why not? Why? <laughs> I can't. I can't English. So why stop now? 
Besides, with how busy your poor student council president is, don't you just want to do everything you can to help her out? Well, I guess I do feel kind of bad for her, but... Ah, okay, fine, I'm in, I guess. That's Irene. I'll pass the good news on to Toa then. Oh, and the principal has given the okay for you to keep hold of the old schoolhouse key. You're welcome to go poke around inside any time you wish. Anyway, I'll be seeing you kids later. Toodle. Um, are you sure you're alright with this reading? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not like I'm signed up to any clubs, and as long as I don't wind up with too many more than I had today, I'll be fine. Well, okay then. But if you need any assistance, please just let me know. It's really no trouble. Same goes for me. And I'll be happy to come with you next time you go to the old schoolhouse too. Quest, old schoolhouse mystery completed. Received seal as a reward. Received one additional bonding point. Hmm, let's see who we can use for the bonding event. So confused. Oh, that's what the information mark was. All right, sure. Reen helped Toa take care of the day's paperwork. Once they were done, she treated him to some tea. Finally done. <laughs> you had a lot on your plate. Now I see just how busy the student council can be. <laughs> and there's so much to get done that I almost always have to take work home with me and finish everything in time. Um, are you sure you're okay with this though? What do you mean? Well, you said you'd help us out next month too, right? Trust me, you shouldn't feel obligated to help just because your instructor told you to. It's fine, I mean it. Besides, it's not like I'm getting anything out of it. Yeah, I can't let the chance Instructor Sarah giving me go to waste. I need to branch out and try new things. It's the only way I'll figure out what I want to do with my life. If I put a lot of effort into getting to this academy, and I'm going to make my time here count. I'm going to be blunt here, Reen. Do you really need to push yourself like this? 
Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing your best to help other people out. I'm a big fan of both. But at the same time, it's important to take time and just sit back and rest too. You need to have a balance. Because if you don't, there may come a time when you want to work towards something important to you, but can't. Uh, oh, sorry. Wow, things got really heavy there. I probably shouldn't be saying all this when I hardly even know you. B but I just don't want to see you hurt yourself by going overboard or anything. Because you're just as important as anyone else in the Academy, even if you don't realize it yourself. Thank you, President Tella. I was kind of worried about being able to, to do enough while I was here. But this kind of... But this is kind of like a weight off my shoulders. <laughs> That's good then. And if you're ever feeling tired, feel free to come visit me. At the very least, I'll make you some nice hot tea and we can talk things over. <laughs> Roger. I don't think I've ever met anyone with such a soothing personality. She's right though, pushing myself too hard. It really burned me out. Well, that's a no-brainer. Your bond with Toa strengthened. It's a little bit different from everybody else's. Hmm. Alright. What's my objective here? Let's all head back to his room. There it is. Oh, while I couldn't really, um... While I couldn't really talk and everything, uh... I did stay down there in the old schoolhouse and just kill stuff. It's rather fun. I think I got the hang of, uh, how some of these things work. And, the uh, links. But I still set up the exact same way by using Reen's Motivate to uh, boost everyone's attack and using what's his face is a defensive spell because it heals your HP every turn as well. As well as giving you defense. And then on his next turn, I try to put him to sleep. Because <laughs> it crits every time. Not bad, but I don't think I can manage much more than this. I guess I should be grateful. I was able to pass the beginner's examination at all. Better do some studying. It sounds like this is going to be a busy week. With all this ominous practical exam looming over us. Hmm. I do have that radio from George here. We had that orbital radio back home, too. I never knew they made them this small, though. That's small to you? Let's see, which station is Radio Trista? Ah, there we go. It's 9 p.m. and you're listening to Radio Trista. 
Welcome, welcome. Don't touch that dial, listeners. You found the right place to be tonight. It's time for the start of a brand new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Aubin Time after the word for evening. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. Hopefully, I'll get to feature some famous guests at some point, so be sure you tune in every week or you might miss them. This might be good to leave on in the background while I'm working. I hope life has been treating all of you well this month as we slowly near the end of April. Here in Trista, the beautiful Lino flowers have passed their peak and begun to wilt. But wilting flowers are beautiful in their own way as they serve to remind us just how fleeting this existence truly is. I'm sure many of our listeners are students, busy with the challenges of adjusting to their new lives. But what harm is there in taking a moment to admire nature every now and again? It's good for what ails you, I say. So, a few days have passed. A practical exam. Oops. Okay, let's get your practical exam started, shall we? To be completely clear from the outset, this exam is about more than just testing your physical strength and stamina. It's designed to hone in on how capable you are of making strategic combat decisions on the fly. Defeating your opponent quickly is a good thing, certainly, but it won't be enough to score you high marks here. Huh, interesting. So we're going to have to use our heads for this one, huh? <laughs> You'll see. Anyway, let's get this month's exam started, shall we? Reen, Elliot, Gaius, you're up first. Uh-oh. Got it. You can make any preparations you deem necessary before beginning the practical exam. Opening the camp menu allows you to customize your party's equipment, ornaments, as well as save your progress. Actually, let's check out everybody's ornament. Yeah, everyone has to have stairs closed, except you have one available. Guess I can't place you in one. Alright, let's give you evade then. Actually, it would probably be helpful for you. Do I have anything else for them? <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, then. Here we go. Okay, what is that? Rain's thinking the same thing. A monster? No. I'm not sensing any life coming from it at all. That's right. Think of it like a scarecrow. Only it's a moving scarecrow, I guess. I've set its parameters fairly high, though, so it is formidable. But if you give it your all, I'm confident you can beat it. Make good oh, use boy. of your Arcus's combat link abilities, for example, and I bet it'll be a piece of cake. Hint, hint. <sighs> so I see that's what you're playing at. All right, begin. The 
life. It's a fight they want. Meet the following conditions. No one is knocked out during the battle. I'm in, and they get to move first, man. Go! You miss though. Okay. Crap. Motivate. Right, let's do this! Leave yeah. me! Alright. Kill Stinger. I'm about to get sealed. Hm. Ooh, wrong move. Keep it up, everyone! Leave it to me. We're open. He's really trying to get your in. I missed. My turn. Well, uh, <laughs> that's dang it. There. It's my turn. Missed. There. Again. Oh no. Ow. Oh. My turn. All right, let's do this. That's how you do me. that. Leave it to me. Now let's see. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Spirit bomb. Mm -hmm. Right. I just want to go ahead and this. Leave it to me. We're open. Go. Go. This is almost over. There. We don't see much. It's not all that tough, but he is strong. His hits deal a lot. And there's that's where the threat to me. is. Because your goal here is to try not. To let anybody get knocked out. My turn. There. Right. Tonight. Oh no. Oh no, that's not fair. He got it on one turn. My turn. I can't move within the range. Really? I can't move. Alright then. Fine. Alright. Thanks. If I can't move, I'm gonna just kill you from a distance. That wasn't so tough. AP increased by one. We won. D don't know how, though. Bad at all. Excellent use of combat links too. Seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off. <laughs> it just may have. Oh. 
those three have been training in secret. All right, on to the second group. Laura, Emma, Yusis. Come forward. Am I gonna have to fight using them? Because I don't know how. I'm sure I'll figure it out. than I thought it would be. It does seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively, though. That's rather unfortunate. Instructor, may I ask a question? What exactly was that marionette we just fought? <laughs> yeah, that thing was weird. Machine, maybe? Never seen anything else like it. Something I got roped into working with a while back. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function. And it's rather customizable, too. I mean, it did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? So there you go. I get the feeling there's a whole lot she'd rather not tell Anyway, us. that brings this month's practical exam to an end. But as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today, too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? Well, duh. I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class 7's curriculum. Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? Well, I'll come clean. The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than... It's nothing good, I think. A field study. Field study? Oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. You'll See. be split into two groups, A and B, and each sent to a different location. And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. Doesn't that sound like fun? Uh... We only just got to the Academy, and we're already being sent somewhere else? Will you not be coming with us, Instructor? Oh, of course not! It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. You've got to be cruel to be kind and all that. <sighs> well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. Of course you're not. Instructor Valestine. Where exactly will we be going, and when? Ah, oh, yes, about that. As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. I hope Blondie is on Reen's team so that they can start getting along a little better. And she can stop being annoying. Yeah, I think so. Great. What? Well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. <laughs> uh, Maccas and Juices got there together too. <laughs> Keldick and Parn. Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah, Keldick's a market town on the east side of the Empire. And Parm is situated in the deep south. It's known for its spinners. All that way? How irritating. I'm less worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these groupings. I wouldn't mind, Mac, on my team. You'll be leaving this weekend, and we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. Cool, we get to go places. Awesome. Hmm. Thank you for everything. Field study day. I need to go to the shop and see if they can buy anything. <sighs> I 
I still haven't been able to apologize to her. There's really nothing for you to say sorry for. She fell on top of you. And we can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same group. I'm sure this is pretty awkward for her too, so I really want to say something, but when am I going to get the chance? Uh. Morning, Elisa. Uh, morning. You're, uh, early. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Oh, well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, I guess not. How does she know that? No, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm sorry. Really sorry. W why, why are, are you, you apologizing? apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I... Just, I kind of lost my head, and before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. So, thank you for trying to protect me. And sorry again. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh, you have a younger sister? Uh, that's a question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now. But every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? And pissing me and probably various other people off in the process. You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, yeah. That... I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. But even then I just avoided you afterward. Still, I really did appreciate it. So, thanks again. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, anyway, we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. The result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically, the part where your face ended up right in my... <laughs> you know, and I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever. Forget it ever happened. You brought it up and he wasn't even thinking about it. He already forgotten. Are we clear? I'm pretty sure you just reminded him of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to avoid thinking about it is just going to make it harder to forget, though. Huh? Oh, good morning. Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Oh, uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. But whoa, whoa! That's only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> Now that we're all here, let's say we head out. 
Train's not due for a while longer, so this could be a good opportunity. We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. <clears throat> uh, th that's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then? Of course. I plan to do that the first in the first place. All rare cores and accessories have been unequipped from the other group's members. Oh, good, because you don't need my equipment when you ain't in my group. But that is all the time we have for this episode of The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. If you like this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.